This is Officer Tracy Breeden with the Glendale Police Department. We're here today to talk about identity theft and some tips our citizens can take to prevent that from occurring to them. Recently, Glendale police officers with our neighborhood response unit made a big arrest on a suspect that was in possession of stolen personal identifying information of over 388 different individuals. That included driver's license, social security cards, tax returns, all types of stolen identifying information. Detectives with the Neighborhood Response Unit were able to connect that personal identifying information with a series of vehicle burglaries that had occurred throughout the valley. This particular suspect, like many suspects, many thieves, had targeted people at parks who were using the trailheads. This individual had broken to those vehicles and stolen these people's personal identifying information. This is a crime trend that we also see in our city. And we want to give our citizens some tips on how to prevent identity theft and how to prevent a thief stealing their information while they're out enjoying our parks and our trails. One tip is, is never leave any valuables in your car that are visible through the window. It only takes a thief a second to break this window, get into the vehicle and remove your purse or whatever valuables you've left in the vehicle. If you do have to bring valuables with you to the park, make sure you place those valuables in your trunk before you ever arrive at the park. So many citizens make the mistake of arriving at the park, then getting out of the car and placing their valuables in the trunk. Thieves are watching you. Don't make that mistake. Make sure you place those valuables in a safe location in your trunk before you ever arrive at the park. All citizens need to bring to the park is stuff that you actually need, like your driver's license, maybe a form of payment. Limit what valuables you actually bring to the park. Take those, hide them on your person when you're on the trailheads. You don't wanna ever leave this information in the car. There's several resources online for information on how to protect your identity. You can also visit our Glendale Police website at www.glendaleaz.com police. We need to remind citizens it only takes seconds to lose valuable things, valuable information, but it takes months to recover your identity, sometimes years. So make sure you utilize these tips when you come to the park. We want our citizens to be safe. We want them to enjoy our parks and we want them to keep their identity protected.